Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, this is Abdul Shaheed from Islamic Life Mastery. In today's episode, we're talking about the rituals that you've set up for your life. Maybe you've set them up, maybe they were set up for you, but these are the things that are guiding you through your life. Now, the number one question to ask is that these rituals, and everyone has them by the way, like uh, we, we call them routine, we call them uh, habits, but everyone has a set of habits or a set of rituals or, or a routine that they're following day in, day out. Like you get up, you brush your teeth, you have your breakfast, you get out of the door, you get to school or university or work, and you follow that routine every single day. The question is, the routine that you're living, is it serving you? Is it helping you to uh, attain happiness today? Or have you put happiness somewhere in the future where you've set yourself uh, a huge goal and there's nothing wrong with huge goals like they should be big they should be your aspirations should be high but you set yourself a goal somewhere in the future and uh, and you seem to be constantly trying to get there and it seems to be never coming and by attaching your happiness to the future what you've done is that today has become a day of work and not a day of happiness so the way to change this the simple solution for this is to have process goals. What we call process goals is that you take that future goal and you break it up. You break it up and you think about what can I do today that will get me uh, one step closer. Just one step. It doesn't have to be 50 steps closer, just one step. Something which is small, and this is why I say the statement of the Messenger of Allah uh, where he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, in the khayr al-amali adwamuhu wa in qalla. Indeed, the best of those deeds, the best of actions are the ones which are continuous, even if they're small. So we take a focus on today with one action one step closer to that goal and we our happiness is connected to today's goal not the future goal because when your happiness is connected to the future goal you've left your happiness in the future somewhere and uh, and the reality is if you you you're constantly running after that future uh, because you want that happiness but the thing is the process goal is every day you do it today it becomes a part of your routine and then you do it again tomorrow it becomes a part of your routine you do it again the next day it becomes a part of your routine but every time you achieve that one process goal you, it's a small win and that creates for you happiness and you're happy about that one step closer it's not about enjoying the benefits of it when you get to the end goal like we have a goal every single day and uh, by setting yourself up with li little small processes process goals, like things that will get you one step closer every day to your huge vision of what you have uh, for the future. Um, you're not set up for failure. You're not set up for misery throughout your life until you achieve that. You're set up to have happiness every day of your life. So the statement of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam here, this has become one of my favorite statements. In the khayr al-amali adwamuhu, the best of actions are those which are consistent. So how many consistent actions do you have in your life today with which are bringing you happiness today and how many of those are, are helping you to get closer to a big vision that you have for what you want at the end of your life or at the other side of your life in Jannah like what are, which of those are serving you are your is your daily routine serving you to get you to um, paradise is it serving you to get you to the end of your life where you're happy is it serving you that you're happy today and if it's not then uh, my suggestion is like think about the routine that you've got every day and, uh, and add in just one thing, one step that will get you closer every single day and celebrate that when you've, when you've completed it. So I'll leave you with that. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.